This is calculator question number 33 from the April 2019 SAT. College Board asks us to solve a system of equations and give them the value of x plus y. And we have many ways of doing this. Since this is a calculator question and the calculator is very fast at systems, I will go to the calculator. I'm going to rewrite this system as a coefficient matrix with 3, 2, 16, 6, 2, 28, you're only allowed to do this if you have the variables in the same order for both equations in your system. One variable, the second variable equals a constant. And then if I ask for a reduced row echelon form of that matrix, I get 1, 0, 0, 1, 4, 2. Putting these coefficients back in as a system, this is the same as 1x plus 0y equals 4 and 0x plus 1y equals 2. Although most people won't write this step because this simplifies to 1x equals 4, so x equals 4, and 1y equals 2, so y equals 2 as our solution. So that value of x plus y is 6. If you've never solved systems of equations using reduced row echelon form on your calculator, Learn this skill, it saves a lot of time when those questions come up on the SAT. This particular system is also pretty quick by hand. 6x plus 2y equals 28. 3x plus 2y equals 16. We see that if we subtract the second equation from the first one as I've written them, 6x minus 3x is 3x. 2y minus 2y equals 0y, that's why I chose to subtract and 28 minus 16 is 12, divide both sides by 3, you get x equals 4. Substitute sub that into either equation, so 3 times x is 3 times 4, plus 2y equals 16, so 12 plus 2y equals 16, subtract 12 from both sides, 2y equals 16 minus 12 is 4, divide both sides by 2, and y equals 2. Same x and y I got with matrices, but you can do this without the calculator. The sum is still 6. We have other methods. We could solve either one of these for y. For example, if I divide through by 2, I get 3x plus y equals 14. Subtract 3x. y equals 14 minus 3x. And then I can substitute that into my first equation, 3x plus twice 14 minus 3x equals 16. I probably should not have solved for y. I should have stuck with 2y, but it still works. 3x plus 28 minus 6x equals 16. Let's subtract 16 from both sides, and I get 12 3x, 12 minus 3x equals 0. Add 3x to both sides, and I get 12 equals 3x, divide by 3, x equals 4, same answer I got before, and from there I could solve for y. So we have many options with systems of equations. You should be proficient with several of them, because often the question they give you will be much faster with one method than with other methods you know. And come back soon for my next math video, with math there's always more.